Dutton is uh, Sandlot, but in a language we call it Dutton. That's the modern name for Sandlot. Sandlot for me uh, and for many of my uh, uh, people, it's, it's, it's all about country. It's about when you say to me, you talk to me about Sandlot, the first thing that comes to my mind is country. The reason for working with the Dutch Iron Custodians was we saw a very unique opportunity uh, and something that the industry has never seen in regards to sandalwood in Australia before is that business relationship between the corporate side of things with investment plantations and the indigenous side of things out there in the lands that they've been basically managing by themselves for tens of thousands of years. Um, I could just see that there was a great opportunity there to offer the world something that they've never seen before in a product. We are doing business differently to other businesses in our, you know, at the very beginning we're giving back. Um, and that story is one that uh, consumers at the other end really value, really appreciate and the uh, product buyers, um, the big brands, the big names are really interested in um, taking our product and putting it on their shelves and being part of that story. us as growers of plantation sandwood um, and a focus on a sustainable renewable resource um, we've always watched to some degree from afar um, what's been happening in the wildwood industry and the gatekeepers being the native title holders of that treasured historical resource. This partnership for the first time allows those two to be brought together in something that is utterly unique to the marketplace. It'll provide something that is a certified resource from the harvest through to the oil um, from what we believe is an ongoing and sustainable market. Uh, what we've known for centuries is that Aboriginal people know how to manage country. They are the ultimate when it comes to natural resource management uh, and that wild crop of sandalwood is there uh, for the sustainable use of Aboriginal people and we've seen that over the years and uh, I'm just so delighted that after what has been a long period of time uh, that here at Dutch Arm we're now producing uh, our first pour uh, and this is going to provide uh, Aboriginal people with opportunities. It smells fabulous in its relatively raw form and the wonderful fragrance that you've got, but then to realise that this can be the base of so many beautiful perfumes, very expensive perfumes, that then enables people in other countries right across the world to be able to connect with, with the Aboriginal culture of Western Australia. We always consider that, that tree as a special tree tree of healing, um, spiritual healing, physical healing, that's why it's really special to our culture. We just want to show the world that it's a special tree and we want the whole world to enjoy it, you know. It's like our, our people enjoy it and been uh, part of it for many thousands of years. Yeah. They were strong people, you know, and for something special to come from our land just makes me so proud. Yeah. Um, to work so hard and had it with um, remembering them, and um, they are my inspiration, the old people. You know.